शंकराचार्य मध्यम अस्मदाचार्य वंदे गुरु परंपरा ओ सहना बबतु सहनौ पुनक्तु सह वीर्यं कर बाबहै तेजस्वी नावधी तमस्तु मा विद्विषा वहै ओम शांत शांत शांति ओम पार्थाय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणेन स्वयं व्यासेन ग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्ये महाभारत अद्वैतामृषवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायी अंबत्वामुसंदी भगवदगीते भगवदेशिनी यम ब्रह्म वरुणेन्द्रुद्रमुता स्तुन्वती दिव्यस्तव वेद सांगपद्रमोपनिषद गाय सामगावस्थितगतेन मनस पश्य योगिन यदुसुरासुरगण देवाय तस्म नम देवाय तस्म नम व्याप्यतिष्ठसि कथम विद्यामहम कथम विद्यामहम त्वाम सदा परिचिंत सदा परिचिंत केशु केशु च भावेशु केशु केशु च भावेशु चिंतोसी भगवन्मया जनार्दन जनार्दन भूय कथय तृप्ति कथय तृप्ति शृण्वत नास्ति मे मृत शुणवतो नास्ति मे मृत श्री भगवाच श्री भगवाच हम ते कथयिष्या हंत ते कथयिष्या दिव्यात्म विभूत दिव्यात्म विभूत प्राधान्यत कुरुश्रेष्ठ प्राधान्यत कुरुश्रेष्ठ नास्तो विस्तर से मे नो विस्तर से मे अहमात्मा गुड़ा केश अहम आत्मा गुड़ा केश सर्वूताशयस्थितूताशयस्थित अहमादिश्च मध्य अहमादिश्च मध्य भूतानामंत भूतानामंत आदिनाम विष्णु आदिनाम विष्णु ज्योतिषा रविरंशुमा 
ज्योतिषाम रविरंशुमान मरीचिर मरुतामस्मी मरीचिर मरुतामस्मी नक्षत्रानाम हम शशि नक्षत्रानाम हम शशि So from nineteenth uh, shloka onwards, Bhagwan Sri Krishna said, "Katha yishya ami, I will tell you, and uh, all my vibhuta yaha." But then nasti anta, there is no end to this. If I start talking, and if you want me to tell everything, then th it won't end. Therefore, pradhanyata ha, pradhanyata ha, primary main things which which will be easy for you. To see the glory of Bhagawan, okay, that I will start telling you. Then twenty onwards, he start. He said, "Aham Atma." Any idea you have that God is somewhere out there? So he removed that notion. Aham Atma. I am Atma. However, you want to look at Atma. My Atma or your Atma? You say my Atma also, your Atma also, his Atma, her Atma, everybody's Atma. Aham Atma Guda Kesha. So finally, I have to come down to that, and uh, then Aham Adischa Madhyacha. We saw that I am the creator, sustainer, resolver, etc. Then number twenty-one. Now he is going to mention certain things, uh, which some of which we know, like the sun, Surya. Okay. Which we can physically see, and other things which we don't know. Devatas. He is going to talk about some devatas, which we only hear in Puranas and Vedas. Okay, so that is the list that's going to begin now. And uh, so Aditya Nam Aham Vishnu Ho. So this Aham and Asmi both will come alternately. They will come. If Aham, the word Aham is there, Asmi need not be there. Because it is understood in Sanskrit, it is understood. Uh, like in English also, I if I say, I am is understood. I followed I am, but in Sanskrit, the I am need not be written, but English I am has to be written. So that's the or in, depending on the sentence. I went. There is no I am of course, but uh, but I am that I am is not needed. Or if somebody says I am, then I is not needed. Ask me. So you will see. This uh, asmi and aham periodically come. So aditya nam aham Vishnu within brackets asmi. Aham Vishnu asmi. Okay. So now he is talking about this adityas. Sir, so, some time ago we encountered this idea of thirty-three groups of devatas, right? Some of you remember, right? Thirty-three. Upatti mukkodi devadar kal we say in Tamil. So thirty-three. And then this question of koti came came up. What is this koti? Is this crore? You know, crore means ten billion. You know, so thirty three crore means three hundred thirty million devatas. So this question came up. But the main idea is this koti is a group. The word koti also means a group. So thirty three groups of devatas. Who are they? Dwadasha aditya, twelve adityas. Okay, then Ekadasha Rudraha, eleven Rudras, then Ashta Vasavaha, Ashta Vasus, eight Vasus. So what happened? Twelve plus eleven plus eight is thirty-one. Then Indraha, thirty-two. Prajapati, thirty-three. Okay, this is the list. So Adityaha, Rudraha, Vasavaha, Indraha, Prajapati, thirty-three. And then Chandogya Upanishad also says. So there, Agnival Kya says. Uh, How many? There is a, is a debate going on. How many devatas do we have? Three thousand three, he says. Oh really? That many devatas? No, three hundred and three, he says. Oh really? That many devatas? No, thirty three, he says. <laughs> like that, there is a discussion going on in Chandogya. And then he comes down to thirty three, and then he lists all those thirty three there. So then there is other view that these thirty three devatas, Bhagwan manifests as these devatas. And then these devatas further manifest as sub devatas, and therefore there is any number of devatas like that. There is the thinking. So here, upon 
द्वादश आदित्यः अमंग दोस द्वादश आदित्यानाम अहम विष्णु हो सो दिस दिस वामनावतारा इज देयर वामनावतारा वन ऑफ द अवतार इज विष्णु इज आदित्य आदित्य अंश सो ऑफन इट इज टॉक्ड अबाउट सो वी लुक एट दिस विष्णु ही इज व्हाट वामन रूपी विष्णु हो वामन रूपी विष्णु हो इज एन आदित्य नॉट टू बी एन आदित्य दैट इन द पुराणस Okay, and uh, then Dwadasha. Dwadasha means what? Aditya means literal meaning is sun, sun, Surya, and the Surya that we know, it makes one circle. It makes one circle, so to speak, in uh, around the, uh, the Earth makes one circle around the sun. Twelve months, and so there are twelve. The sun is so important. in everybody's life in the life of a living being itself you know the polar bear which is which is supposed to be hibernating for so many months four five months uh, in a year the sun is important because it will hibernate then when it comes out again it can't be winter it has to go towards summer only then it can survive so the sun we know is a very important entity and uh, science of course Uh, uh, acknowledges that, and we know all about the role of sun, and so the, this worship of sun is very important in every society, not just in India. In India, so what to talk about Ganga and all? You go any river, you go, they will just dip themselves before sunrise, okay, before sunrise, and then when sun rises, they do namaste, namaskara, Surya, Yama, Bhaskara, Yama. and uh, so that the, the, because devata pratyaksha ishwara aditya pratyaksha ishwara you are looking for god is, is that correct are you going to go you want to go somewhere rameshwaram ganga nal you want to go did you forget there is one pratyaksha ishwara right every day he comes and he he shows himself to you did you know that fellow yeah first say namaskar to him before you go to rameshwaram and all this place you can go everywhere pundit chetram they are no doubt But don't ignore this man. Okay, he is he is Pratyeksha Ishwar, Aditya. So Surya Namaskar very very important in our Patanjali Yoga. Surya Namaskar. They teach in the in the Yoga Asana classes. So uh, this yoga teacher, after some time, when she was not coming to class, she used to ask me to conduct the yoga classes. I said, Yeah, really, I can conduct. Yeah, you can also conduct. and so i used to wonder what i should do so in the beginning stages you have to teach some basic movement you can't start with surya namaskar so start you have to start tadasana and all slow basic asanas you have to teach and then little bit of bending here and there and all that we teach surya namaskar comes a little later after the body has become a little people have gotten used to bending and stretching and standing for for 1 minute 2 minutes and all that stiff all these things Trikona Asana and all. After that, Surya Namaskar will come. And so you can see, twelve names are there: Om Mitra Yena Maha, uh, Om Pravaya Yena Maha, Surya Yena Maha, right? And then Bhaskara Yena, Khaga Yena, Pushne Yena Maha, So Pushan, Hiranya Garbha, Malichi, and then uh, what is it? Aditya, and then Savita. So like this, there are twelve names. भास्कर सो भास्कर सो ट्वेल्व नेम्स सो सम सम वेरिएशन आर देयर सम पीपल चेंज द नेम्स टू समथिंग एल्स आल्सो सो पीरियोडिकली यू विल फाइंड दैट बट ट्वेल्व आदित्य इज फॉर श्योर फॉर श्योर एंड सो करस्पोंडिंग टू द ट्वेल्व मंथ्स डिफरेंट फेसेस सो द इन 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 तमिलनाडु द द सन ऑफ द मे मंथ ऑफ मे As a Ghora Rupa, Ghora Rupa, they will say Agni Nakshatra on the two. They will say means Agni Nakshatra has come. So be mentally prepared. This is a good thing, you know. You are mentally prepared for it. It's just going to burn. It's going to burn, and just protect yourself. And then uh, they will say Agni Nakshatra will be over in uh, in two three weeks and all. But then if you look at the whole summer, it just goes on and on. They talk casually also. Our people are so nice. They got used to all these things. Nothing bothers them. <laughs> so, 
that that phase that May sun is different from the December sun, November sun, and nice you know the winter time is so nice, and so Adityehi apatyam Aditya. There is one story which says Aditi. They are all the children of Aditi. So that is one uh, in Purana it is said, and uh, so in in many mantras uh, they will say so Aditya ha. Vasu, Rudra, Tarpayami. So all these mantras are there. It, it is giving the Tarpana to all the gods. Acknowledging all the gods. Tarpana means Aradhana. And so, in Pitri Tarpana and also, in sometimes, in sometimes it comes. Pitri Tarpana, I don't know, might come. I'm not sure. Um, so, so Aditya Nam. Among the Adityas, there is one Aditya called Vishnu. That Vishnu, I am Vamana Rupi, Adityaha, Aham Vishnu. Then what? Jyotisham Ravihi Amshuma. So, those who chant, how many of you chant Aditya Hrudaya? Yeah, at least you know, right? So, many of you know Aditya Hrudaya. So, if you don't know, what we should do is, we should, I think it's, it's important for all of you to at least know it and chant it periodically. So, if you are interested, let me know. We'll arrange a session to learn Aditya Hrudaya. Very beautiful. Tato Yuddha Parishrantam Samare Chinta Yastitam. Like that it goes. Very, very beautiful. You just, just face the east in the daytime, face the west in the evening time and then chant Aditya Hrudaya. Over. Your day's prayer is over. That's how powerful it is. And uh, it has become so famous. For Vedanta also it is good. The Surya Bhagavan illumines our minds. So that is needed for Vedanta. So spirituality also, Surya Bhagavan is the one who gives us that blessing. And then for other things also, you want you want to do well in your exams, then Surya Bhagavan is there. You want a good eyesight? Oh, that Surya Bhagavan, of course, you have to. Aditya, Aditya, Aradhana, you have to do. And then so Aditya become very famous. And uh, in our culture, and then they say Greek also, Greek god, uh, sun god, and all Zeus or whatever it is, Zeus, and all it is there, I think. So this thing is gone because nobody can ignore the sun. And any any society that has worshipped God as manifesting in this world has to worship sun, no doubt about that. Sun, river, all these things become very important. Anyway, so Jyoti Sham. Ravihi Amshuma. Among the luminaries, among the uh, Jyotisha means what? Those that are bright. That are bright. And uh, you know, brightness is not easy. You, you only night time, you know, you need electricity, lights and all you need. Only when the power goes off, you realize how helpless you become in the night. And so in daytime, this guy is just shining and providing light to everybody. So among the luminaries, among the bright objects, okay, I am who? I am Ravihi. Ravihi. And who is Ravihi? Amshuman. One who has brilliant rays. That guy is Ravihi. That Ravihi. Okay. Hiranyagarbha Shishiraha Tapano Bhaskaro Ravihi. Okay. Then, uh, then Agni Garbhodi Dev Putraha Shanka Shishira Nashanaha Vyomana Atastamo Bedi. Um, uh, so Aditehi Putra. There he says Aditehi Putra. Okay. And then uh, of course Amshuman is there. Where does he come? Uh, Where Amshuman comes. Anyway, I am. Tell me if you recall which Totra starts with Amshuman. That is that Aditya Hridayam we get. And then Amshu means what? Ray. The ray, the ray of sun that brings as though brings the light to us. That that is called Amshu. Rashmi. Rashmi also is a ray. Rashmi Mantam Samudyantam Deva Sura Namaskritam Aditya Hridayam again. All the names of Surya comes. 
If you know Aditya Rhythm, you know all the synonyms of the word Surya. Beautiful it is. And uh, so that is, uh, that, that's Ravihi. Who is Ravihi? One who has all this brilliant race. Uh, um, Amshuman. Amshuman. One who has Amshu is Amshuman. Okay. One who has Rashmi is Rashmi Maan. <clears throat> okay. So then, uh, therefore, this sun becomes so important for us, Surya. So that's why all this early to bed and early to rise, get up and all they used to say. And uh, you get up so you don't forget to welcome sun into your life. That's the idea. Brilliant idea. That's it. You don't need any devata, nothing. The sun is enough. You don't need any puja. You don't have to. Just let go of everything. Focus on the sun. Surya. Suri Deva. Fantastic. Yeah, so this, those days they had access to, to open spaces were there. So they could see the sunrise. These days, uh, sunrise, when does it rise? We don't know. <laughs> Newspapers used to publish sunrise 6.14 a.m. Like that they used to say. And uh, because <laughs> they're important because you have to get up before 6.14 a.m. <laughs> That's why it's important. And of course, for other things also. And uh, so, that's Jyotisham, Ravihi, Amshuman, Asmi, Aham. And then what? Marichihi, Marutam, Asmi. Marutam. So, all this, 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 these are all, these are all words. Marut, for example. Just like we have colonies and subdivisions and all these things, right? All over the country, all over the world, we have all these things. Constituencies are there. Downtown, uptown, all these things are there. So like that, Devatas also have all these things and they have names. So these are all names we are seeing. And Marut, Marut Ganaha is one, another group of people called Maruts. And uh, Marut Ganaha, Marut Ganaha, 49 in number. 49 in number. 49 Maruts, they say. And Aditya Hridayam again, Sapta Saptir Marichimam, Sapta Saptir Marichimam. And the Sapta Saptir is this seven groups of seven Devatas called Marud Devatas are called Sapta Sapti. Seven times seven is equal to 49. And uh, of them I am Marichihi. Like that Krishna is telling. And uh, Sapta Saptir Marichima Harida Shwesahasrar Chihi Sapta Saptir Marichima Swami Tattva Vidananda who is in Hyderabad and uh, long ago Tattva Vidananda Jai is, is, uh, is a Vedic Pandit learned from his father then he is a PhD in chemistry he is a PhD in Sanskrit and then, and then, of course, then he came to Puja Swamiji and studied Vedanta and Swamiji. And people call him a walking encyclopedia. We should, uh, we should invite him sometime and we should prostrate to him and ask him to bless us one day. And uh, so, he gave a talk on Aditya Hrde. And it is mind-boggling because we hear the rainbow, seven colors, all these things will be there, okay, in, in this Aditya Hrde. And he connects chemistry to this Aditya. Cut, 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 cut. Goes on. Seven horses. You know, like that you will see. Harid Ashwa, Ashwa, Harid. So all these colors he will bring. And chemistry, spectroscopy, all these things he will bring. And it's, it's amazing. So we will see, you know, we'll pray for that to happen. And uh, so, that among these this Marud Ganaha, Gana, Devataha, I am Marichihi. I am the presiding deity of, and in what form I am? This volume, this breeze that comes, the cool, gentle, pleasing, pleasant breeze that comes. That, I am that Marichihi. What confused with Maricha? Okay, Maricha is different. Comes in Ramayana. <laughs> he is a different character. So here it is Marichihi. And so that why who I am among this Marud Ganaha, Marud Gana Devataha, then what? Nakshatrana Mahamshashi. So fairly, 
स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड शशि मून समांग नक्षत्र अस दिस वर्ड नक्षत्र इज इंटरेस्टिंग वर्ड एंड नक्षति शोभति शोभाम गच्छति स्थानात वन मीनिंग वन मीनिंग इज दे आर ऑल शोभाम गच्छति वन मीनिंग इज दे 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 मेक the night wonderful they make the night beautiful they're twinkling they are bright they are brilliant and that kind of brightness you can't find anywhere they are all called nakshatras so all luminous objects self luminous or otherwise also shashi is not self luminous but it's the closest bright object much closer than sun also and so shashi and uh, another meaning for nakshatra is shobham gachati so one that to which one goes to after death the great lokas one goes to that is another interpretation of this nakshatra and here chandra loka chandra loka is supposed to be a good loka you may want to look into it those of you interested chandra loka it seems is a good loka to go to and uh, and so so therefore that that is also mentioned in the puranas and therefore I am Shashi Nakshatra Nam Aham Shashi, and uh, Chandra Pournami. Pournami is when uh, you know in the month that the uh, moon is bright, and so the, well, Chandra Puja. So there some some people do puja during that time, and among all the Pournamis, you now one of the Pournamis, uh, I don't know what Ma Maga Puja or something Masi Masi Pournami. I think uh, is supposed to be. Sharad Purnami in the in the in the November time, October November time, Sharad Purnami, and then in the, in the January February time frame, that is also there. Maga Purnami. So you worship Chandra. You don't need to go around places. You just first learn to recognize what's happening in this world, which where where am I living, and what are all the great things that are working for me. All the, that's first we have to get that right, and so Chandra is also available. For Upasana, and so I am Shashi. And now that Krishna has told us that Nakshatra Nam Aham Shashi, we can do Nidhya Asana on Chandra also here today. So let's translate this. <clears throat> Among the Adityas, I am Vishnu. I am the Among the Adityas, I am Vishnu. Adya, there is a list. Apa, apa, etc. There is Anila, etc. There is some list. No, no. Anila, uh, apa is the is so Vasu, no, like Vasu, Anila, Anala. So yeah, there are some names. Uh, of course, Mitra, etc. We saw twelve names for Adityas. So among the Adityas, I am Vishnu. Among the luminaries, the sun. Within brackets, the one who has rays. Among the luminaries, Pama, the sun, the one who has rays, full stop. Among the Maruts, among the Maruts, So like Bengaluru, we also give names, no? Bengalus, the Bengalurians and Bendakaluru and all they say. There is some history about that, you know, Bendaka, I think that, uh, that, uh, that Okra, there is some history, uh, uh, I think that. Bendakaluru. Bendakaluru, correct, Bendakaluru. So some trade, so the Bendakas used to be popular, I think. So among the Maruts, I am Marichi. I am Marichi. Guruji, it is uh, when the color means it is baked beans. Oh, baked beans. Yeah. Baked yeah. beans. Mm -hmm. So it's not when the guy. No, no, no. No, no, no. It is Kalu. Kalu. Kalu is Kalu is that uh, Bean. beans. Bean. Oh, Kalu. Kalu. When the Kalu. Oh, when the Kalu. Oh, when the Kalu. Oh, when the Kalu. Okay, very interesting. Baked beans. Okay, among Maruts, I am Marichi. Among the luminaries seen at night. Among the luminaries seen at night. 
comma, I am the moon. Similarly, means bright objects. So among the Adityas, I am Vishnu. Among the luminaries, the sun, the one who has rays, full stop, or comma. Among the Maruts, I am Marichi. Among the luminaries seen at night, I am the moon. Okay, next one. Vedanam Sama Vedosmi. Vedanam Sama Vedosmi. Deva namasmi vasavaha. Deva namasmi vasavaha. Indriyanam manaschasmi. Indriyanam manaschasmi. Bhuta namasmi chetana. Bhuta namasmi chetana. Veda nam sama vedosmi. Veda nam sama vedosmi. Deva namasmi vasavaha. Deva namasmi vasavaha. Driyanam manas chasmi. Indriyanam manas chasmi. Bhuta namasmi chetana. Bhuta namasmi chetana. Veda nam deva nam. It looks like a pun, you know. Krishna is playing, you know. It's, it's Veda nam, then deva nam he says. So, Veda Nam Sama Vedas mean Veda Ha Shatwara Veda Ha. There are four Vedas. Vedas are sacred. Vedas themselves are sacred. Why it is sacred? It is because it tells you the importance of life. And it it acknowledges Purusharthas, Dharma, it tells you these are the Purusharthas, Dharmartha, Kama and Moksha. And uh, then in Dharmartha, Kama, it is uh, so many things are there. And as be Dharmic, gain Punya, gain that Dharma which is Punya. And then you can go to any Lokas, don't think this is the only Loka. Universe is vast. So it talks about the vastness of the universe. So that I don't get caught up in this my little world here. This is my world, I, me and myself. No, no. The world is huge and there is there are many lokas. You can even go to those lokas if you want. All that it talks about and dharma. Then it says, if you are tired about going to lokas and if you think this is not the only thing in life, there is something more in life, then there is something called Upanishad and it says it's time for you to study. And that also it talks about. Therefore, it's very sacred. It is It is a mirror of words. It's going to show me a mirror. You know, they say, look yourself in the mirror. And so, this this look yourself, that's what the Vedas tells us. And that is our mirror for us. Therefore, it is very sacred for us, no doubt. And and then, but then here, Krishna, Veda Ram Sama Vedos me. If you can't handle all the Vedas, just Think of Samaveda, okay. Samaveda, and so Samavedis can say, Hey, look at that, Krishna is talking about us, okay. So, Samaveda, Samaveda is great, why? Because every Veda has to be chanted, but Samaveda is a little different, it can be sung. You can't sing the Veda, Rigveda, Yajurveda, no, you can't sing, you, you can only chant. Om Namo Bhagavate Rudraya. Namaste Rudra Manyava Puto Taishavi Namaha. This is the only way to ch chant. That's all. And it's not musical. Not musical. The Samaveda is musical. It has more swaras. Only three swaras in chanting. But Samaveda, many more swaras. And they say music has come out of this. Sapta swaras have come out of Samaveda. So, in a particular simple way of singing, it is not like literally classical music and all. It's, it's a way of intonations and all of that. And so, Therefore, because of that, because it is pleasing to hear the same Veda only, all Vedas have, have similar messages. Therefore, I am Sama Veda. Huh? Okay. And uh, Sama Veda also has Karma Kanda and Jnana Kanda. Rig Veda also has Karma Kanda and Jnana Kanda. Both are there. And so, but I am Sama Veda. 
and uh, that's why they say veda parayanam but when it comes to sama you shouldn't don't say sama parayan what do you will say sama ganam correct sama ganam yeah, otherwise it will be an insult to all this sama with you say sama parayanam so devanam okay so that is vedanam sama vedasmi aham then devanam asmi vasava vasava don't confuse this vasava 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 is indra indra i am indra among all devas i am indra well that's obvious because indra is the head indra represents all devatas all devas devatas and he is the he is the leader he is the head and so therefore i am vasava indra <clears throat> so you see in english translations of our sanskrit they use the word god with an upper case g g o d upper case g to represent god ishwara bhagwan but then they use also lower case g gods and to represent devatas because the devatas are so many and then you have to differentiate bhagavan you know paramatma from all other devatas and so in lower case g sometimes they use in this class we don't do all that the upper case lower case and all with god head then there is a god head also god head i don't know how many of you have read all these uh, books they'll say god head and then think about god head is it's not the head of god that's not what they are ref referring to it's not god's head and if he is is the head of all gods that also can be questionable because you can't call brahma as the head of all gods okay all this so uh, problems will be there so we we have to be careful how you translate our our sanskrit words but uh, devataha devata works well for us devaha or devataha both are identical and then bhagavan ishwara paramatma all in the separate category category means what that when you talk about the all pervading ishwara then these words we have to use we know all that by now and so devana must be vasava vasava also is a devata indra also is a devata only and these devatas are all also samsaris like you and me correct they are just living in permanently air conditioned houses and outside all here in 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 earth outside is not air conditioned only inside is air conditioned there outside also will be air conditioned are you are that's great so i think we should go there and see how it is i think so, uh, so therefore they are, they are punya they have done so much good work that they are enjoying that kind of a life but then they are also samsaris as indra will be told by uma parvati and say you, know, you also have to figure out my dear friend you can't simply fight with rakshasas and keep using your strength and and then uh, you know have all these tips all the time no so so devas uh, are also like that they are all special exalted jivas just like in anath also we have exalted jivas exalted means everything is there for them family is there aishwaryam is there health is there everything is there then what does you want that's all over so that is that is also uh, that is a particular type of gift punyam okay so devanam aham vasavah asmi among the devas i am indra and all these some they they they, are, they have immense power and things like that so that's that's all fine it's part of that upadhi so vishesha upadhi is okay then what indriyanam manah cha asmi and i am among all the indriyas sense organs i am manaha why is that how can that be the case well that's not difficult also to understand indriyas all indriyas have specific locales specific things that they pick up the eyes will only pick up colors and forms can't hear with eyes cannot hear but hearing ears they are very good at picking up that particular aspect of this universe called uh, this shabda this shabda vishayas will be picked up by 
ears and then sparsha vishaya touch so cool breeze if you say who said it's a cool breeze well the skin is passing the signals to that now eyes cannot say it's a cool breeze because eyes cannot see the breeze eyes can they cannot do that so therefore so like this you just shove the sparsha rupa rasa gandhe and the vishayaha so these indriyas panchendriyani have very specific job but guess what the manaha without the manaha the senses the data it gets will not get processed and manaha has to look at all these things as to say yeah this is a cool breeze this is a hot sun this is rock music and that we are hearing okay this is this the mind is required mind means buddhi everything included and so that mind which is the base uh, into which all the sense organs are providing the data that is also a sense antakaranam see in english if you talk it, all these words will get missed out antakaranam it's also an indriyam so it is antendriya antakaranam it is also a karanam an instrument except it is inside so called internal internal sense organ if you want to call it and so uh, indriyana manaha cha asmi and therefore you can meditate on the sun aditya nam aham vishnu aditya is there and then here in, you can meditate on what you can among the sense organs and the mind therefore you can meditate on the mind also powerful mind meditation is there in taitriya upanishad yesho antar hrudaya akasha atma like that in taitriya upanishad there is a small section omkara meditation mind meditation all you have to do is acknowledge that this mind is such a bliss that's it that itself will can become a powerful vidyasa so we will we will do that so the it's a blessing no doubt it's uh, something that we don't take for granted we are constantly thinking of something or the other but think about the that mind which enables me to think that's the idea there and so um so the mind was somebody asked what is the greatest manifest manifestation of bhagavan ishvara on this in this universe it's the mind you just say it's a mind you don't have to say i don't know all these galaxies and all are there that's all fine let them be there but this mind <clears throat> and then what who therefore indriyana manasyasmi then bhutana asmi chetana bhutana asmi chetana and uh, among all the entities that are there bhuta ha bhutani i am this chetana chetana means that which differentiates the living being from the non living being that is called chetana chetana means life the life principle the life principle that's another new phrase now okay so chetana this everything is atma everything is brahma sarvam khalvidam brahma only but this brahma seems to be different from that brahma how that is because that is that that brahma that chit chit swarupa consciousness is reflected in the mind and then i say i am conscious the stone cannot say i am conscious even though the stone is consciousness sakshat consciousness sakshat consciousness but the stone cannot say that cannot but then the human being can say that i am conscious to say i am consciousness the consciousness should manifest itself in a way to to be called a human being and so that chida bhasa that technical word they use is called chida bhasa they say things like reflected consciousness means what that mind is able to manifest the consciousness is manifesting in the mind to allow all these things to happen that is called chetana chidabhasa chidabhasa 
I basically, so ahankara you can say, but ahankara becomes an identity about I, but the ahankara itself is made possible by the reflection of the consciousness. Chidabhasa. Okay. Ahankara is a thought. I thought. Okay. All right. So that is Chetana and Bhutanam Ahamasmi Chetana. That life is so important that that differentiates the living being from the normal. The life is precious. We have created so many things in this world. Constantly new products are coming. Marketing people are extremely busy. Television is constantly coming up with new advertisements. Every week there is something new coming up. But we cannot create even one unicellular organism. Can't create it. A chetana vastu anything we can create. A chetana vastu can't create it. We can take away a chetana. We can kill, but we can't produce a chetana vastu. We cannot produce. Therefore, greatest glory, another great glory of this is chetana, that ability, that living. We can say prana. That is me. Among all the bhutas, among all the elements, entities in this world, I am chetana. What a brilliant statement that is. And uh, so that's why that's this recognition is what makes us say things like ahimsa paramo dharmaha. Because why take somebody's life? Lead a life so that I minimize the hurt I cause. So even plants, plants also we are causing hurt. Don't think vegetarians are just harmless people and all. Vegetarians also create harm. We acknowledge that. That is why Karacharana Kritam Vak, towards the end of the day, you have to say that. I have created hurt to people knowingly or unknowingly. So may I acknowledge it. End of the day. Karacharana Kritam Vak, Kayajam Karmajam Vak. What a mantra it is. Kayajam Karmajam Vak. By the body or by actions. Savana Nayana Jamma. Savana Nayana Jamma. By hearing also, I may have hurt something or somebody. Shabana Nayana Jamma. By seeing things that I should not have seen, I may have hurt myself or hurt others. Okay. Vak Kaya Jamma. Before Kaya Jamma, there is Vak. By speech, of course, I can hurt. Things, people, especially people. Okay, Vakkaya Jamma. Manasam va aparada. This aparadam, this hurt I have caused by even my mind also. Just by thinking about certain things, I am causing hurt because, because sooner or later that thought is going to manifest through speech. Therefore, they say nip it in the bud. And manasam, think, thinking of wrong ideas also is not good for you. And so manasam va aparada. Vihitam avihitam va sarvam shamasva. Vihitam. Things that I am supposed to have done, I did not do. Avihitam. Things I was not, not supposed to do, I did today. Therefore, may I acknowledge all these things. May you, uh, shamasva, please, please excuse me. I, that's, uh, I was helpless in certain situations. So, please excuse me. Means to, tomorrow I will be better. So, this is a beautiful prayer. So, vegetarians also have to chant this. Vegetarian cannot say, oh, I don't kill animals. No. So, this plant is there. Many people, you know what, they don't even pluck fruits or vegetables from the plants and trees. They only eat the fruits that have fallen down. There used to be such people. I don't know if such people are there, but that idea is there. Always pick up stuff and eat. Never pluck. But plucking a plant, a fruit from a tree is better because the tree is not being killed. The tree is still alive very much. You are not killing somebody. You may be hurting but not killing. But if a plant drops its its vegetable on the on the ground, then the plant is rejecting it as it were. So you can pick up that. So this is all very fine understand. I used to think it was simple until I had this discussion with my American friends. And uh, they'll say, very interesting, very interesting, very interesting. So uh, they've never heard about it, it seems. And so uh, that's why Bhutana Masmi Chetana. So life, celebration of life, acknowledgement of life as a manifestation of Ishvara.
So let's translate this shloka. Among the Vedas, I am the Sama Veda. Oops, comma or semicolon. Among the Devatas, I am Indra. Among the sense organs, I am the mind. So look at this. Among the embodied beings, embodied beings, means Okay, among the embodied beings, I am the faculty of cognition. Which is somebody translates as that faculty of cognition. Paramatanda ji says Chidabhasaha. So and of the embodied beings, I am the faculty of cognition. So let's translate this. Among the Vedas, I am the Sama Veda. Among the Devatas, I am Indra. Among the sense organs, I am the mind. And of the embodied beings, I am the faculty of cognition. Or Chidabhasaha. Sometimes uh, Paramatha ji uses the word intelligence. But within quotes, you have to put. Not intelligence as a property of the mind or, or intellect, but intelligence as the ability to, for the mind to even function, the way it functions. That is Chitabhas. That is Chetana. So we have sometimes our girls and women, they are men, but they are called Chetana. Chetana. Or Chetan also. Masculine gender, Chetan. Okay, we have a couple of more minutes. So let's chant the next mantra. Rudranam Shankaras Chasmi. Rudranam Shankaras Chasmi. Vittesho Yaksha Rakshasam. Vittesho Yaksha Rakshasam. Vasunam Pavakas Chasmi. Vasunam Pavakas Chasmi. Meru Shikari Namaham. Meru Shikari Meru Shikari Namaham. Rudranam Shankaras Chasmi. Rudranam Shankaras Chasmi. Vittesho Yaksha Rakshasam. Vittesho Yaksha Rakshasam. Vasunam Pavakas Chasmi. Vasunam Pavakas Chasmi. Me Rushikari Namaham. Me Rushikari Namaham. Rudranam Shankaraha Chasmi Aham. So now he is Dvadasha Aditya covered earlier. And so now we've got this. Rudras. Eka Dasha Rudra. Eleven Rudras are there. They are also one type of Devatas. And uh, Rut dravayati iti rudraham. Rut, rut dukham. Rut dukham dravayati nashayati iti rudraham. That which destroys sorrow is called rudraham. That is the meaning of rut, rudraham. So, so this, this, the rudra ekadashi, you know, we, we do, when we chant rudram, there is this rudra visheka is there. So chanting Rudra once, then Yekadasha, Rudra Yekadashini, chanting Rudra 11 times. This 11 becomes an important number for us because of this Yekadasha Rudra. And there are 11 Anuvakas in Rudra. And uh, then multiples of 11 they will do. So 121 times you chant, 
or 11 11 vaidikas can chant 11 times that is also 11 times 11 so this all this maharudram matirudram all these things it goes on and on so 11 times 11 121 121 times 11 okay 1331 times i think chanting that is so either you can have 11 panditas chanting chanting 121 times or 121 panditas ritviks chanting 11 times all these are possible like that this number keeps on building up and even in america they have done all these things so, so that means you can imagine it's uh so that multiple of 11 is key that's because eka dasha rudra and among them i am shankara there is a rudra called shankara and shankara is is uh, I am Shankara, he says. Uh, you know, we should tell our Vaishnavas. Krishna is saying all these things. How, what do you think about it? We should ask them. I didn't ask, I forgot. It is a very interesting one. Okay, Rudra Anam, um, Shankara, he says. And so, what is you people are friends or what? You are friends with Shankara, Shiva, is that it? So, <laughs> so Shankara, Sham Karoti Iti Shankara. That is the meaning there. Sham Mangalam. So, Mangalam Karoti, Mangala Karta, one who brings auspiciousness, one who does what is good to you is called Shankara. Whatever is good for you is, is Sham, and one who does that is called Shankara and Mangala Karta. And because Rutu Dravayati, because Dukkham, he removes Dukkham, he is also called Dukkha Nashaka. Dukkham Nashayati, Rudram Dravayati, Irudraha. So, Dukkha Nashaka. Then with the show, Yaksha Raksha Sham, etc. We will see that in the next class. Om Swasti Prajabhya Paripala Yantam Nyayena Margena Mahim Mahisha Go Brahmane Pyashubamastu Nityam Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu Kale Vashatu Parjanya Prithi Visasya Shalini Desho Yam Kshobharahitaha Brahmana Santu Nirbhayaha Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramayaha Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Makas Chiddukha Bhagavad Asato Ma Sadgamaya Tamaso Ma Jyotir Gamaya Pratyur Ma Amrutangamaya Om Purnamadav Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Shiva Namaha Harihi Om